What's up, man? It's amazing, man. Yeah, beautiful the weather. Oh, <laughs> what's going, JP? Beautiful day. We're gonna head out and uh, hope for the best, I guess. Yeah, pray to the visibility gods. Ravi, you wanna go diving? Wanna go diving, man? Such a nice day out. So beautiful. I came out here with Bill and JP. We're gonna do some diving. Bill came over with me on the ferry yesterday. I haven't seen him for a while. He's been really busy with work. Uh, but yeah, insanely low tide here. Can't believe it. I'm usually uh, diving where I'm standing right now, not walking around. So that's just gonna make some of these spots here more accessible. Instead of diving, you know, 15 meters, only have to dive maybe seven or 10 uh, to see the exact same stuff. I decided to take it easy this weekend. You know, driving out to the West Coast, it's two and a half hours there, two and a half hours back. You know, we're finally getting some nice weather after a delayed start to summer. And I don't want to sit in a vehicle for five hours. So yeah, just gonna throw my gear on, get in the water, swim around, probably just do some hand harvesting if that, and look for some cool stuff. It might not be the largest sun star in the sea, but it's the start and the first one I've seen here. It might not be the largest sling cod too, but let's hope that it will one day grow and reproduce. Out of all the places I've dove on Vancouver Island, I'd say this is the one I visit the most. Some days are better than others in terms of visibility, but it never seems to be a complete letdown. It's a relatively shallow dive and a great place to get comfortable diving in the ocean. JP is new to diving, and Bill is new to the PNW, so it was a great fit with lots to see. The fish here all tend to be juvenile, but there's no shortage of them. Too bad the visibility wasn't better, as I found a decent school of bait fish. The water was doing some funky stuff with the coloring though. The giant red sea cucumber can be found from the Gulf of Alaska to Baja, California. It can be found from the low intertidal zone to depths of around 250 meters. They are most abundant in areas with moderate current with cobbles, boulders, or bedrock. The giant red sea cucumber can grow to a length of 50 centimeters and a width of 5 centimeters. Scientists do not know how to calculate sea cucumber's age, so their longevity remains unknown. They use their two feet located on the underside of their body to attach themselves to rocks. The giant red sea cucumber is a scavenger that feeds on organic matter. They feed by sifting through the sediment with their tentacles or by positioning themselves in current where they can use their tentacles to catch food flowing by. The giant red sea cucumber is a solitary animal and while fairly immobile, sea cucumbers undergo seasonal vertical migrations. Sea cucumbers can expel parts of their organs as a defense mechanism, but they grow back within a few days. Giant red sea cucumbers have separate sexes and the eggs are fertilized externally. Spawning usually takes place in August and each female can produce thousands of eggs. After fertilization, a larva is formed, which metamorphoses into a sea cucumber after a few weeks. When I was a kid, all I wanted for Christmas and my birthday was fishing tackle. Now I find so much, I don't really know what to do with it all. For the most part, my angling days are behind me. Bill caught his first Greenland and rockfish, which was pretty exciting. He grew up spearfishing the Mediterranean in Turkey, much different than our waters. It went a little crazy on the sea cucumber, but uh, didn't grab any fish. So we're gonna cut these up. You squeeze out the guts like a roll of toothpaste. Pretty nasty. And then uh, bring them home. And a lot less work uh, to clean them. And then uh, fry them up. I think we get about 24. Uh, me and JP all get a limit. And then uh, Bill's gonna grab some too. Sea cucumber have a daily limit of 12 and a possession limit of 24. The majority of the weight of a sea cucumber is just seawater. So do yourself a favor and clean them out before transportation. It's quite the mess, but a uh, success. All our sea cucumber cleaned, fish gutted and scaled. A uh, good dive in the water. Saw a bunch of rockfish and green link as well. Really small fish, but still nice to stare at them. Check this rock out. There's uh, fossils in it everywhere. Little clamshells. 
Anyone know how old this stuff is? I imagine at least a million years, but that's a guess. Really neat, really cool. On the way to the parking lot, found some uh, sea asparagus. So we're gonna cook that up with our sea cucumber. <laughs> uh, this stuff's really salty, but really, really tasty. Good for a side plate. Got all our sea asparagus. We're gonna go through all these sea cucumbers. Uh, cut out that tenant, put the guts in there, throw that in the compost, and then we're gonna make some sea cucumber and cook it up with that sea asparagus. How's the mission going? Good. Sea cucumber slimy goodness. That's parking meat right there, then that's all the tenant. And step two is uh, getting all that meat out of there. This part is the slimy struggle. How's it going though, man? Yeah, not too bad. Making it work? Hey. Yeah. You gonna eat some, Sela? Yeah. Are you gonna kiss the sea cucumber? Yeah. Give it a kiss. I'm joking, I'm joking. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> so the deed is done. We got all our meat prepared. We got roughly 30 sea cucumber in there. Uh, so you get a decent amount of meat. Um, I fry it all up and have a nice feast. My buddy David told me recently he fried up the husk as well, and it turned out great. I hate being wasteful, so I'll definitely give that a go next time. Sea asparagus, lemon, butter, on the pan. Let's go. I used to just deep fry sea cucumber every time I grab some, but I much prefer them cooked this way. Let's face it, everything tastes good deep fried, but it takes away from the texture and the true flavor. Simple ingredients are the way to go, and the sea asparagus was the perfect side dish. Oh yeah, look at that, that's so awesome. Straight from the ocean and the beach. Yeah, right down there is good. There's the picture, man. That's the money shot. Yeah. What do you think, Bill? It's really delicious. It is, right? Yeah. That's pretty good, not gonna lie. Yeah, way, way better than you think. Yeah, delicious. Yeah, man. Jasmine? You had it before, you liked it. Try a piece. Jasmine. You liked the last. Jasmine. Jasmine. My wife is a little funny when it comes to eating slimy, vile looking creatures. I can't say I don't blame her, but her loss. 10 out of 10, in my opinion. The kids are too young to have a formed opinion on the matter, and they agreed with me. Delicious. Is it good? How good? I think he likes it. Say love, baby. That is, that's next level. <laughs> you are gonna hate me for this when you're older. <laughs> she looks so sad. No, I'm actually impressed, baby. It's really impressive. <laughs> hey, man. Well, it, it was a nice day, man. It was a really nice day. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sad to go, actually. Hopefully you have a good time on the ferry, though. Thanks for the See ice cream. Well. Brief, buddy. You're staying, bud. You're not going nowhere. You want to come with me? See you next time again. Yeah, yeah cheers, man. Bye-bye. Thanks. And that's a wrap. Thanks, everybody, for watching my videos and the continued support. Thanks to my Patreons, my wife for letting me get out and dive all the time. My kids for always, uh, always keeping me happy and good spirits. Uh, if you like the video, throw it a thumbs up. The algorithm really likes it and uh, helps my channel grow. Uh, peace, love, everybody. Till the next edit, I'll uh, see you again. Bye.